Hi, welcome back to the Sunday episodes of Stories at Work, stories that you can use in business. Let's start today's story. Today's story is about a leadership lesson that was taught by Dr. Satish Dhawan, who was then the chairman of the Indian Space Research Organization, to Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, who was the mission director for the satellite launch program. It was 17th August 1979, a satellite launch vehicle of four stages, having more than 44 components, about 100 sub-components, was prepared at the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center and moved for the launch to the Sri Harikota launch pad. Over a thousand scientists and over 10,000 staff had worked for many years to put this together. This was the culmination of their work which started in 1973. At the Space Center, there was uh, Dr. Abdul Kalam, the mission director, in the control, hundreds of other scientists and engineers inside the room. Outside, there were the viewing gallery, there was the audience from, from all over India, the press, and, uh, and they were getting ready for the launch. Now, the amount of checks that or parameters that one needs to check when the launch is taking place is over 100 uh, parameters at any point in time, and this is impossible to do manually. So the computer is programmed to take over the launch at T minus eight seconds. And so as they come towards the launch, Dr. Abdul Kalam hands over the control to the computer at T minus eight, T minus seven, T minus six, T minus five, T minus four, and the computer halts the launch. It detects a problem. The printout comes out and it shows that there is a leakage in the second stage launch vehicle, the second stage rocket. Dr. Abdul Kalam now looks back at the people along with him. They're scientists with 10, 20, 30 years of experience. Now, decision needs to be taken quickly. The whole rocket system is alive now. The explosive system, the propellant system, the electronic system, a decision needs to be taken very quickly. So Dr. Abdul Kalam turns back, looks at his senior scientists, 10, 20, 30 years of experience. They look at the data and quickly tell him, yes, there is a leakage in the oxidizer in the second stage rocket, but there is enough to take care of the entire second stage launch. He asks them, are you sure? They say yes. And so he takes the power of his manual override and overrides this and take the lo- takes the launch into manual control. T minus four, T minus three, T minus one, lift off. Initially, there's a smooth liftoff. The trajectory is perfect using the guidance system. It reaches the correct velocity, 100 seconds over. The second stage rocket fires, and immediately there's something wrong. The whole rocket system starts turning, twisting, and hurls out of the orbit, throwing the satellite into the Bay of Bengal. Dr. Abdul Kalam and his team spent the whole evening, the whole night, poring over all the data, all the decisions they had taken, Exhausted in the morning, he gets a call at 6.30 a.m. from Dr. Satish Dhawan. Dr. Dhawan tells him that there is a press conference You in the morning. You come with me. I will take all the questions. You just accompany me. They walk into the press conference. There's people from India, international press. People are very agitated. And they might as well be. This is public money. And a 20 crore satellite now is lying at the bottom of the Bay of Bengal. Dr. Dhawan takes the mic and says, yes, we have failed. This was a failure. This was our first launch vehicle and it didn't take off. But I am certain about the technology and I am certain about my scientists and engineers and I support them fully and I'm sure we will get it right. Almost a year later, 18th July, 1980, the second trial for the launch of a satellite is now ready at Sri Harikota. Dr. Abdul Kalam is the mission director again and he's in the mission center. And then at T minus eight, he hands over the control to the computer. T minus eight, T minus seven, T minus six, T minus five, T minus four, T minus three, T minus two, T minus one, lift off. The takeoff is smooth. The fourth stage rocket fires and takes it to the right velocity. The third stage, the second stage, everything is moving fantastically. And finally, the first stage rocket fires. It gives it the escape velocity and the satellite is hurled into space, into the orbit it was supposed to be in. There's cheers all around and Dr. Abdul Kalam takes the mic and congratulates everyone. 30 minutes later, he gets a call again from Dr. Satish Dhawan. And Dr. Satish Dhawan says, good job. 
Now go and handle the press conference. So Dr. Kalam says, alone? He says, yeah, alone. You did a good job. That's the day Dr. Kalam learned a lesson he said no university could have taught him. A lesson that when you are a leader, you take the blame for anything that happens to the team. But when there is success, you attribute it to them. What a powerful story. Where in business can you use the story? You can use the story when you're talking about leadership traits. The fact that leaders need to have the back of their team. The fact that they need to take all the blame, but give all the credit. And that's what leadership is all about. I hope you enjoyed the story. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss any of these episodes. And subscribe to our WhatsApp group so they can download these videos and share it with your team. I look forward to seeing you next Sunday.